Hey everybody, Sam Kavaris in the Nimnik Chevrolet Sports Update. So the Jaguars get a win in Chicago, first time they've won up there since 1998. First road win in October in six years, and they beat an NFC North opponent. All those are great things, but they still played terrible for three quarters. The one thing that you did see is a certain resiliency and a willingness to kind of stay in the game, and you didn't see a separation of the offense and the defense. The offense could not get out of their own way after that first drive. The defense couldn't get off the field on third down. And the second half was a totally different situation for the defense as that the Bears didn't convert a single third down while the offense kept plugging away and finally had some success. The most unlikely of heroes are really it's been a second round pick of the Bucks, who's been on the Jaguars injured reserve list for the past three years, makes a catch, jumps up and runs for a touchdown in the Jaguars. Even the last play of the game was well thought out and executed. 47 seconds to play. Obviously, there's a 40-second play clock. Bortles takes the ball, runs some play action, runs around for a few seconds, looking at the stadium clock, and then gets on the ground inside 40 seconds, and the game is over. That's the kind of smarts you expect. You don't expect Kelvin Beecham to knock somebody over on a pile and probably cost this team an opportunity for a touchdown. You don't expect Bortles to come out of the pocket and – direct traffic, not realizing in his third year that guys behind him are going to catch him. That's how fast they are in this league. Those are the little things that make the difference between teams that kind of hang on to win and teams that win convincingly. The Jaguars certainly aren't anywhere near a good team, and you only hope that they can ascend to being mediocre. Gus Bradley said maybe they're growing up right in front of our eyes. You can't use the excuse that they're young any longer, that's for sure. Even Bradley says that. And he told us that the franchise was built in terms of personnel. They've got to figure out a way to have things click and make things happen on a regular basis if they want to be competitive. The next two games, I think, are very important. Oakland here, home game uh, against a team that is also kind of ascending, and a road game the following Thursday in the division against Tennessee that's also 3-3. Three and three. If you're going to say that you're an ascending team, and that you're any good, these are games that you should be in and you should probably win. We'll see what happens. Only time, obviously, will tell. I'm Sam Kavaris, and that's the Nimic Chevrolet Sports Update.